got some beef, mainly because I've fallen into this trap too. There are YouTubers who use the same old Canva templates for every single video they create. The problem is these Canva templates do not look good. And with just a little effort using Canva, you can actually create really great, highly cookable thumbnails that don't look like trash. Let's dive into it and figure out how to do it today. So I wanted to show you this first to show you an example of a bad thumbnail. I in fact recreated this using a Canva template and I wanted to show this to you because this is the exact Canva template I saw on a YouTuber's video when I was watching Pokemon card openings the other day. And I just thought, man, that is such a bad thumbnail. I didn't even want to click on the video and watch it because of how like it just looked meh, right? There was no excitement or anything to it. And so today I'm going to show you what it looks like to take this kind of thumbnail, a thumbnail about a Pokemon box opening, right? And how we can maybe make it look a little more exciting. So what we're going to do first is we are going to pull in the Pokemon uh, box into Canva. And we're actually going to click this button right here called edit photo. And we're going to remove the background so that only the box is there because there was a white border image around that box and is now no longer there, which is perfect. And then we're going to go to effects shadows over here. We're going to go to shadows and you're going to add an outline effect to this image, right? So now we have this nice solid black outline around our box, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to blur it a little bit. We're going to increase the size a smidge, blur it a little more. Beautiful. I'm going to get that just right. So it looks like it pops a little bit. I love that. I love that. We'll get it right about in there. Perfect. Now, if this was you and this is your box opening, what I would want you to do is I would want you to put an image of yourself in here, but this is not uh, a video where I have an image of myself handy. So instead we're going to grab an image from this guy right here and we're going to pop him into here. Right. And so we're going to make sure he pops into here, right? Because we want you, the subject of the video, in the thumbnail as well. It helps add just a little bit of something to the video that you're creating. And so, boom, he is right there. We're gonna do the same thing to him that we just did to this box. We're gonna go to shadows, we're gonna drop an outline, but instead of a black outline, I'm gonna go ahead and change his outline to white. Uh, and that will become all the more apparent here in a second when I add a gradient background to this image. We're gonna go ahead and position it to the back so that everything pops up to the front except for that. Now we have him in a nice white little outline, perfect. And we're gonna click on him one more time, edit photo, go back to shadows. And now we're gonna add our blur amount to that image. Canva though is being a little, there we go. There's being a little finicky, a little finicky, not a big deal. Gotta love it when Canva doesn't wanna do its thing. Perfect. All good. Boom. Now that's looking awesome. And now we're going to make this a little larger as well. Perfect. Now we just need some text to help us make this a little bit better. And so we don't like the text from that thumbnail design template, but we are going to steal some text from a thumbnail design to help us out here. We're going to change it up a little bit but we are going to make sure we steal it to help us do the best thing possible. Like this singer here, it's nice and bold and it's going to work out great. So we're going to pop it there. We're going to kind of overlay it in the middle and we're going to put crazy holes, right? Let's, let's go ahead and lower that down. Do, 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 do. Let's do 120. How about that? Ooh, there we go. I like 120. I like 120. Pop it right there. One center of screen. Boom. Okay, it's over him. But now, let's transparency a little bit. Change that color. Let's do, let's do yellow. Yeah, I like that yellow. And then we have one final thing we are going to do. We're going to go to effects on this bad boy and we are going to add a uh, outline effect to this bad boy. We're gonna make that outline effect nice and black and we're gonna give us some a good thickness on there. Boom. Just like that, you have a highly clickable thumbnail in seconds. That looks good. That is indicating to the viewer what the video is about. And the best part is 
It doesn't look like you just stole some template. It looks like you put some work and effort into this. And this was only, guys, this was a five minute tip on how to do this. You don't have to be stuck using boring Canva templates. You can put a little bit of effort into your thumbnails and it will help your click through rate go up just a little bit more. If you like this video, do me a favor and click right here so that you can keep learning.